Hi Vogue, I'm Camille Bro, and this is what I wear in a week. Um, this is my sort of everyday off-duty look. These are Celine loafers, 501 Levi's, Petit Bateau t-shirt, and a Bodhi shirt. I love this one. Hawaii. My boyfriend grew up in Hawaii, so he loves it too. I'm a big denim lady. I like jeans to fit quite tight on the top. I like a little bit of a struggle for the button. I feel like it makes your butt look really good when they're a bit tighter, but I do like it to be a little looser on the leg. Five row ones are always my kind of go-to. You have to, you need to squat in the jeans a few times after the wash. Sorry, I'm very unladylike. <laughs> so. <laughs> when I first moved to New York when I was 21, I was kind of shocked by, um, you know, people wearing like running trainers, sneakers, like out on the street. Like I would never be caught dead in even like a sweatpants or a, a sneaker. Not in Paris, even when you're dressed down, you're sort of dressed up. This is my favorite everyday bag. You can fit everything here. I got this one in a depot vente in Paris, like a secondhand consignment store. I don't know, I like it. It's sort of an uncommon Hermes purse. Like a Bucket Kelly, maybe? I don't really see these ones too much around, so it's a, a little understated. You know, it's not too loud. Um, this is my dinner party look. During these strange, strange times, two other couples, friends of ours, we decided to throw um, dinner parties every week that were themed. It's like a good excuse to throw on some heels, maybe a little makeup. One of the themes was Italian Riviera evening. So this is what I wore. This is my favorite restaurant in Cositano, um, De Adolfo. I love merch, so I had to beg them to sell me a t-shirt, but it's so good. This is a Kate jacket. Mansur Gabriel in pants and Celine loafers. I wore it with this little head scarf. These ones are vintage Dior sunglasses from the 70s. I love an oversized glasses and oversized glasses. That's a, sorry, I'm English second language here. <laughs> I feel glamorous. I feel like I could eat kilos and kilos and kilos of pasta. Actually, this is not the best pasta look because you know I'm staining this, but I feel great. And then we had a Bond night. I rewatched all of the Bond films um, during lockdown and I wore this vintage 90s Gucci Tom Ford dress. Channeling more of like an old school Bond girl, love Ursula undress. I love dressing up, it's so much fun. Go big or go home, you know? <laughs> I feel lucky that my friends are all into it as well, so. This is my date night look. Um, I love uh, vintage, like 1930s or any kind of sort of slip dress. This one is vintage Valentino. But yeah, little nightgown moment. So if I'm at home, or maybe just these cute little shoes, Roger Vivier. If I'm gonna wear it out, then I really like this Dior leather jacket. Do we like it with this jacket? Yeah. I love shopping vintage because you get to find really special pieces that no one else is wearing. If you check out the kind of like chic or old lady neighborhoods, you can always find really good secondhand stores. So I feel like that's a good secret. <laughs> I would probably pair it with this row purse. Right, this is cute. Okay. It's little. It doesn't really look like a purse. It's also a hat. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this is my favorite go-to jacket. It's from The Row. I feel like it just makes everything look so much chicer. I'm wearing Nike sneakers. These are acne jeans. This one is just a, a vintage white t-shirt and a little Prada vest. Um, I've been very into little vests and t-shirts. I do my groceries in it. See how I never use my phone for anything and I just write down lists. Cheese, pain de mie, flour, eggs, heavy cream, Perrier, probiotics, green tea. I wrote cheese twice, <laughs> cheese and cheese. <laughs> I saw this jacket in the store and you know when you just really really fall in love with an item of clothing that's what happened to me. It's not my boyfriend's favorite coat but <laughs> I'm not dressing for him so it can really go from day to night. These boots are Prada. Man they're not easy to open huh? Okay. Day to night. <laughs> um, this is my sort of 70s revival style moment. I love this cape, it's vintage. These are Kate little cashmere shorts. This is a pretty long sleeve t-shirt. And then these are old Celine boots. I have watched Almost Famous every year for my birthday since I what came out. I would have been like 10 or something. I love that film. Um, so this is kind of my homage to Penny Lane. I'll go out dancing in this. I'll go to a dinner, like a boozy dinner in this outfit. But I'm, I'm committed to this outfit. It has that like sort of Brigitte Bardot, you know, that song with Gainsbourg where she's like the superhero. She does like stuff like this. I feel like there's something very like 60s, like late 60s French lady about this too. I feel like everything is sort of like California French. In a weird way, there are a lot of similarities. Um, this is my plane to dinner look, or um, car ride to dinner look. It's a custom uh, Gucci suit, pajama set, I guess. <laughs> it's really comfortable, it's really loud. It's very like jingle bellsy. I've also worn it the past three Christmases. If I'm traveling, I like it with Converse, and then I would put on these little Little Prada guys, Ooh. this is cute. <laughs> I love a set. You don't have to think about it too much. You can also tie it at the waist. It makes it maybe a little bit more put together. It's special. I love it. This is my French girl style moment. I love a suit for every occasion. I've always loved three-piece suits, the sort of like masculine, feminine moment. It feels very French, sort of like the Yves Saint Laurent women of the 70s. This suit is acne. It's one of my favorite suits. I've had it for a minute. And I kind of love the cut of the pants. And then I, I wanted it to be a three-piece, so I found this vintage vest. So you can make your own. These are the row boots. I like that they're a bit long and pointy and then they just pop out of the, of the pants. <laughs> the accessory I'm gonna wear with this is just red lipstick. I think it's like maybe because like French ladies don't really put on a lot of makeup and then it's all about the lip or wearing something sort of masculine and like the lip makes it feel more feminine. It has been a very French thing, I think, for forever. Not entirely sure why, but I feel French. Très Française. I don't know, I feel really good in this outfit. I feel, I feel smart. 
in an English sense, not an American sense, although I do feel smart too. <laughs> I think French women specifically more than anyone else sort of focus more on like investment, like staple pieces as opposed to like fa fast uh, fashion. You know, it's about good quality, things that you're gonna wear forever. There is something about French women, they do really dress well. Merci Vogue, thank you so much for watching. This is what I wear in a week and I will see you next time. <laughs>